think as we take a look at this whole show, I hope you find yourself being very hopeful and we'd love to hear from you, those of you who love the home and garden. Um, so we're gonna start you off with a birdhouse. We're gonna invite the birds into your space. This is a painted flower blossom birdhouse that has a metal chain that you can hang it from. Um, and it's by a company called Evergreen. We'll learn about them in a second, but this is on sale price at $20.84 and an easy pay of $5.21. Now I will tell you that we did sell out of two options last time and we have a brand new option for 2021. So let me go through each one of them right up here. I'll stand behind here. This one is your pansy right there. That's so pretty. And you're going to see little, um, little critters on these as well. This one has a butterfly and you'll see the beautiful greenery in the back. So invite all those little birds to you. Then we move over to the hydrangea and the hydrangea here is beautiful blue color. This next one is the succulent. That one there you can see just like what you'd have like a Roberta succulent look and this one has a little ladybugs in it. This one is brand new. This is your sunflower. Oh, I love it. And there is your little uh, butterfly. Up here is your peony that you might consider planting very near your peony bush that you pick, your tree that you pick up from Roberta's a little later on. And there's a little bumblebee attached there. And the final one is magnolia. Isn't that beautiful? And that has a little ladybug there too. So M60337 is your item number. So there's only 300 left in the magnolia, by the way. So if you do want that. All right, we're gonna welcome in our friend, Ginger Walt, who is a home and garden specialist. And I, we're just, we're all bursting at the same time for, this, for, for the home and garden event. So that, good morning or good afternoon to you, Ginger. How are you, my friend? Good afternoon, doing wonderful, honey. You're so right. And it's about 52 days before the first day of spring. And I know we are kind of like anxious that we want it to be next week. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy to be here with you and, and represent these beautiful products mm -hmm. because this one in particular is near and dear to my heart. I own a couple of them and have mm -hmm. them out in my garden, hanging from the trees. And some of them I've had for over five years now. They actually have a chain, as mm -hmm. you can see from hanging right behind you. Yeah. You can set them down flat, but I would, if you're gonna use these in your home decor, I would say put something right behind them. Mm -hmm. But it does come with a, a chain that's about seven inches from top to bottom with a nice size S hook. Okay. These are made out of a, of a treated UV protected uh, poly resin material, which is mm -hmm. why you're getting all of that wonderful detail, that three dimension. You also have the matching on the back. Um, if, if you turn that one, there you go. You can see the, the exact matching leaf to each one of the flowers. So mm -hmm. the pansy has that exact leaf. You can see also under that clean out hole. And you know what, Nance, I don't even bother it. I, I just let it be outside. The birds in mother nature, they take care of it yeah. themselves it um, was, year after year. It was so funny. So last, not funny, but um, last year was the first time we had hung a bird feeder. Cause our, for some reason, we, our birds will t make their little nest above our garage. And so, yeah. you know, right where the garage door opens. I so this same. You do. <laughs> well, so last year we, we got a birdhouse from, um, uh, from an Amish family because he this little boy all he does is makes birdhouses and we ended up putting it in the the tree that's right by our garage and we weren't sure what would happen if you know bird would go in there or not but by golly the bird who was had made his home ab ab above our garage now had moved his entire little family <laughs> over into the birdhouse and we just loved it it was so fun <laughs> to see the straw you know that had fallen off and outside of the birdhouse there's just something so magical about <laughs> having these these wild wonderful birds Birds come and just kind of make residence in your home. One of the things I Isn't will ask you, it is, and I want to ask you about the type sure. of birds that we can expect with this particular birdhouse. Okay, so the opening is only about two inches. So you're going to get the smaller birds, the wrens, you're going to get all of the finches. They love to make the homes. And these are about seven inches in diameter and they're mm -hmm. about four inches deep for each one. This is all hollow on the inside. So okay. there's plenty of real estate on the interior for them to build their little nests. Mm -hmm. All I would suggest it is like you and I made the mistake of putting it next to an opening um, if you're going outside the door. And if you don't have a choice, the birds don't care yeah. really. But it was for me, I don't like to, to disrupt them. 
I do like to peer into their life, though, and yeah. watch them build their nest <laughs> I do too. And year after year, right? Exactly. <laughs> and see them um, build their families. <laughs> let me take them through the choices again, if you wouldn't sure, mind. Let's do um, it. So I'll start up here. This one is your pansy choice, one of the purples. How would you like to describe that one, Ginger? That purple pansy, that one is just layered in beautiful lavender colors. And I love that with that little butterfly because it kind of pops right out mm -hmm. on the very bottom and outlined in the little black lining. I love that. That hydrangea, and I have to tell you, my garden at my previous home, which I'm hoping it, the house that we built that we had now, um, I had it filled with these, these beautiful blue hydrangeas and they are stunning to see. And every time I see them, I think of Philip Watson yeah. and his beautiful floral designs that he has and, and flor florals and Roberta's as well yeah. um, and Cottage Farms. So you can see that really pretty yellow flower. Yeah. Now, succulents are easy to grow. This one is one of those that is just identical to that giant size succulent that you would have into your garden. Mm -hmm. But I love how we put the little family of the ladybugs right on the All outside. Right, so before we go on, I want you to know that there are only 900 left of the, the brand new sunflower. This one is new for 2021. Um, 900 is all that's left. We've already said goodbye to like 600 or more in the show. We're at a thousand now, excuse me. <laughs> and then finally, oh. this one is your peony, that beautiful light yes. pink and white and your little bumblebee and then finally the magnolia and there's then the only magnolia, 200 right. left in the magnolia choice that has the little um ladybug m60337 is your item number certainly you can place your order uh, right now if you'd like to do that we'd love that and we'll get it to you uh, thank you so much ginger i appreciate you <laughs> great to be with you babe okay yeah. Nice, happy Lots gardening, of love. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so still to come, we have our heart-shaped wall art coming to us from Plow.